Mon Mothma Kidnapped, Star Wars number 43 recap. And the issue opens with Lando in a killer beard, by the way, incarcerated on the home one for all of the damage he's done to the Rebel Alliance by dealing with Jabba the Hutt, dealing with that Taki droid. He's in bad shape right now. So anyways, people are lamenting the fact that he is locked up, but he's also really started to rub people the right way in the Rebel Alliance. Leia's sitting here talking like, hey man, we're, we, we can't be like the Empire and just throw him out of an airlock, even though he self-admittedly confessed to all these crimes that are treasonous, we, we can't do this. We gotta have some sort of a trial. Besides, like I said, they, they explained to him, both Mon and Leia, they're like, hey, General Maydeen, Akbar, chill out. People love Lando. He is a cool dude. So if we just kill the guy, this probably isn't gonna bode well for us if we ever want to pretend that we can actually run a government after we beat the Empire because we'd be doing the same stuff that the Empire is doing to people that are insubordinate. So even though Akbar and Maydeen aren't down with letting Lando get a trial, both Leia and Mon Mothma convince them that this is the way to go to at least put forth the best looking public face to the Rebel Alliance. Meanwhile, Lando's hanging out with Lobot in his cell. They're just catching up and Lobot's like, dude, why did you do this? Like, why, why would you do this, man? You know you're going to get in trouble. And Lando's like, listen, man, you meant that much to me. I had to do this. I had to save you, even though I knew it was probably going to get me locked up and potentially executed for the crimes I committed against the Rebel Alliance. And Lobot's like, dude, but you're, you're an idiot. Think of how selfish that is. W what am I going to do if they find you guilty and kill you? What, what do you think they're going to do to me? Lando Calrissian's best friend. Think about that, pal. He's like, w we need to get you someone to try and help you. We need to get that advocate. So Lobot rings the bell. He leaves the cell. His visiting time is over. And we then transition to Lando calling whoever this contact is that Lobot said he should call. And Leia's like, hey, man, I know this is this is kind of crummy. And this probably still isn't going to help your buddy Lando. He is screwed. I mean, he, admit, he confessed to treason. Uh, but we see Lando calling this person again. Look how slick his hair looks. And then the beard is just a nice touch. So as the comic transitions, we, we move into a new narrative thread here on Uveron, where we meet these horned and, and cape wing wearing figures. We do know Mon Mothma is on this planet, so I don't know. You might want to keep an eye on these people. They might be up to no good. Back here on Home 1, Chewbacca brings Lando's advocate, who happens to be Sally Giorgio, advocate at large. She's quite a fun figure, and she dresses quite snazzy and all that orange, and you have to love the eye patch. So she's essentially going to serve as Lando's lawyer in the trial. And she's, she's kind of unique. She's definitely flamboyant kind of far out there it feels like one of those grandiose lawyers that is an expert in delaying things and making trials take longer than they should and she even brings her little buddy 3l so the trial gets underway and as expected Giorgio is doing her best to delay everything she's like hey hold on i get my droid's got to plug in so we can record it and um hey you know there, there could be other things wrong with this trial we don't even understand the Karelian code so can we get a recess to go and kind of process this to which general Maydeen's like shut up this is a joke everyone uses the Karelian code we're sticking with it. Sorry you didn't prepare. Your client is screwed. So the trial begins. The Rebels lawyer starts interrogating the Taki, this ancient protocol droid that essentially is getting Lando into this mess because he gave him the job of the hut to clear a debt. And this droid is the cipher code for the Rebel Alliance uh, encryption keys for communication. So yeah, a pretty big mess up by Lando. So they're talking to this Taki, and it's just throwing Lando under the bus. It's replaying recordings from all the incriminating stuff Lando said. So, so things aren't looking good for Lando. But then the issue does a very interesting cross-cut between the two narratives. We're getting cells on Uveron, where we can see that these gang of horned, winged now characters are definitely up to no good. It looks like they're about to infiltrate something, but it cuts back and forth with the trial to where now Giorgio is saying, hey, you know what? Lando did all this because of a Jedi mind trick. So she is a, she's definitely one of those lawyers you would see on a late night TV chasing ambulances. But 
as I said, we see these other figures. They're, they're definitely going to infiltrate something. What is that something? We're going to find out very soon. But back to the trial. And Lana's like, what are you doing? You just look like a clown. Can you be a lawyer? You're just playing around. You're just irritating these people with all your games, Jedi mind tricks, this, that, and the other thing. And yeah, she's like, don't worry. There's always a way to slow down trials like this. So we cut back to Uveron, and we see that these uh, mercenaries, whatever you want to call them, they are breaking in to capture and kidnap Mon Mothma. That's right, she wasn't actually at the trial, she was just using a hollow recording. So we actually see this taking place in the trial over the hollows. They've got a needle to her throat, she's in trouble, Mon Mothma has been kidnapped and Georgia is like yep that'll work and what she's saying is yeah that's definitely going to delay this trial so hey hopefully you like this recap of Star Wars number 44 make sure to subscribe to the channel and our podcast platforms via starwarstime.net